Thank you. The Select Investigative Panel on Infant Lives investigation has uncovered many valid concerns and potential law violations that are disturbing, horrific, and unacceptable. In the course of our investigation, we discovered a hardness, a callousness, and a track record for deceptive tactics that some abortion clinics and fetal tissue procurers exercise toward vulnerable women. It is difficult to imagine a more vulnerable time in a woman's life than when she is considering an abortion. What if, during that time, the woman is lied to and told that by having an abortion, she will facilitate research that will cure tragic diseases? This is exactly the type of concern that our panel addressed during our hearing on bioethics and fetal tissue. During that hearing, I shared a consent form widely used by abortion clinics to obtain a mother's consent to donate fetal tissue and the form stated that research using the blood from pregnant women and tissue that has been aborted has been used to treat and find a cure for such diseases as diabetes, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, and AIDS. This is clearly false. The witness, who is an ethics expert, agreed, and he said that the idea, the promise of cures found in the form was, quote, a very powerful motivator. He also expressed concern that the scientific community standards for fetal tissue donation are absent in that consent form, saying, quote, the thoroughness of the consent seems to be missing in this form. And a researcher for the minority testified during the hearing, he also agreed staying the form would not have made it past his institutional review board, yet this is what is being used in abortion clinics with vulnerable women. In other words, the testimony provided by both uh, the witnesses from the majority and the minority raised concerns that the principles embodied in ethics reports and later incorporated into federal regulations are not being followed by abortion providers seeking consent for the donation of human fetal tissue. We must raise this awareness, make sure people know, and make sure that women are protected. I yield back.